The following video is sponsored by Cotner Funeral Home. Last time on This is Reynoldsburg, we visited Encore Academy to learn more about the arts in Reynoldsburg. That consisted of both traditional and digital art courses, which let students take some agency on the type of projects they worked on. On the other side of Reynoldsburg Summit campus is ESTEM. ESTEM stands for Environmental Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Students at ESTEM are obtaining a normal high school education while also having that education skewed towards these fields. One of those fields, engineering, is put to great use in ESTEM's Fab Lab, a place where students can undergo training and eventually use the advanced machines contained within it. As students go along with this path, they're given time with an instructor to master the skills they need to put to use in the Fab Lab. Classes taught at ESTEM are to get students prepared or comfortable with the machinery in the Fab Lab itself. When they reach a certain level of expertise, students are allowed to have more free range with the machinery. Current student intern John Timmons guides us through the Fab Lab to explain what it is and why it's important to what students at ESTEM design daily. Um, my name is John Timmons and I will be walking you through our DCC and Fab Lab. We have multiple machines here. We have our laser cutter which will cut out and engrave things like this to where we can make pyramids or whatever we design it to do. And we have over here our 3D printer, which we can create, it lays down plastic layer by layer, and then it slowly makes a larger object like over here, where we've had it make a turkey. And we also have our large format printer, which is just a poster printer. It prints out large posters. And this is a project that we have been working on, all of us have been working on, and it was done on the vinyl cutter over there. And we are eventually going to center it out correctly and then put it up on one of the windows. And the room over here, we have our CNC shop up. And this machine will cut out, we can actually cut certain pieces out on a 2D map and then we fit them together like this. And this is our basic wood shop room that we do most of our working in where we have our circular sander, our grinders, and then our bandsaw, and then our drill press over here. And for the 3D printer, it prints out these things called supports that allow it to actually, when you have an object like this, it'll put supports from here to here to keep it so that it's still right. And this eats away those supports so that you have, it's all clean and smooth when you actually cut it out. And we've had students, most of the stuff is actually student made through a certain program that we have gurus that once you become a guru, you can use these machines without being supervised by a teacher because they've learned that you're trusted enough. John also explains to us the path which students take to learning and using the machinery seen here. He also explains the impact the Fab Lab has made on developing leadership skills for students participating in the program. So in the middle school that I went to, um, they had a smaller version of the lab. And so I was able to get experience through that and once I got that experience, I walked in knowing how to use most of that stuff. So before I got a lot of this responsibility, my first semester was trying, like, learning how to use everything and how to handle all of my responsibilities so that he knows, okay, I can trust him by doing this. And so the, for other people, we have an actual program, the, uh, I kind of said it earlier, the uh, guru program. We have levels of apprentice, journeyman, and then master. And so you get that for each machine, and once you have that for each machine, you become a guru. And to get mastery on it, you have to publicly post how you do certain things in the lab, and you also have to have spearheaded a project by yourself and on a certain machine. 
The duality of the Fab Lab's impact on students is important to keep in mind, because not only does it prepare them for work with this heavy machinery, it also clearly institutes the skills students learn in their average class. This is something eSTEM has taken as a great advantage across the board, from students and teachers to administrators. A lot of it with um, trig surprisingly relates to it because a lot of it's just more practical math when you get to it. It's a lot of building, working with relationships, and trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B. This class, even though it is art, we have a lot of machinery and uh, technology going on, so it's very transdisciplinary. There's a lot of math involved in the programs we use, such as like Autodesk Inventor. You have to come up with all those measurements and figure out like if things are going to fit and whatnot because it's not going to just by itself. Um, there's a lot of science involved as well as engineering based off of what we are doing, such as those like maneuverability devices and assembling something like these 3D puzzles. So it really, it takes uh, bits and parts from everything. It just depends exactly on what we're doing at the moment. Um, you know, one of the things that we think um, is good with teaching and learning, uh, just a good practice, um, is students being able to apply and do things with the knowledge. Um, it's really easy, I think, um, you know, when we think about what school is like for my generation, you sat, you memorized, you repeated, right? And we got really good at that. And I think a, a whole generation of us then found out that when we started into careers, um, the ability to memorize and repeat is not really what careers are looking for. Um, so that, that ability to actually do something with the knowledge is huge. Um, and that's been great for our students down there. Um, they've gotten to, to really apply some of the things that they're learning about and, and do those things. Um, I think that it, it helps with them to retain that knowledge. Um, and then when they go off to college, you know, we hear colleges who are, are really impressed with the things that they're able to get started on here in our Fab Lab um, that they're able to carry over into their college careers. While the worth of the Fab Lab is immense to eSTEM, funding the Fab Lab comes from an equally ambitious source, running the Fab Lab like a business all on its own. Self-sufficiency through public and private business orders is the key to that funding. So the lab takes orders from anyone who wants to place something that we can actually make. So for an example, uh, we are making park signs for Reynoldsburg City at the moment to replace all of the signs they have at the moment. Uh, we're making some new signs for the new logo that was designed for Reynoldsburg City Schools. So those are gonna be like four by four size signs, so pretty large. Um, we do a lot of different poster orders. Um, as well as vinyl cutting and laser cutting orders. It really just depends. It could be anything. If it's something that we can do and it's something that you want, we'll do it for you. So, like, the possibilities are kind of endless, but yet still kind of, like, <laughs> skewed based off of the machinery that we do have. So it really just depends. Thank you for taking a look at what eSTEM students do every day. Stay tuned next week as we go into the exact projects the Fab Lab has created so far. And keep visiting thisisreynoldsburg.org to stay up to date through the month of March for a lot more education-focused videos. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and check in for content uploaded weekly.